Hey guys, it's Layla from Ignite, and in today's video, I'm going to be addressing a key theme from Fable Parrot's Past the Shallows. If you are studying this text, and in fact, if you're doing English this year in the HSC, check out our website. It's www.ignitehsc.com.au. We've got loads of resources, analysis, exemplar essays on all of the HSC texts, the most popular ones. So if you are studying, check it out, and I guarantee that will enhance your results in the HSC this year. But for now, let's get into the content for today's video. So my goals in today's video are to address a key theme from Fable Parrot's Past the Shallows, that being the failure of parental figures within the text. I'll then move on to give you a little bit of evidence from the text that showcases that particular idea and I'll analyze it. So if you're watching this, I guess where we're headed in this video is for you to gain an idea that you could perhaps base a body paragraph on within an essay. And I'll start you off with some evidence and analysis to kickstart your process of drafting up a paragraph that you could use in a response for human experience. So let's discuss the central idea for today's video, the failure of parental figures. Now from the outset of the novel, the boys are without their mother and the trauma of losing the mother is a motif that carries throughout the text. And the boys are then stuck with Steve, their father, who is an alcoholic and engages in illegal fishing within the part of South Australia in which they're living. So throughout the text, we do see this violent tension that plays up throughout the dad and he presents the form of adversity with which the boys are faced. His violence progresses throughout the text as he's found out by the local fisheries for his illegal fishing and he definitely, I guess, ostracizes and isolates the youngest brother Harry throughout the text. Spoiler alert, as the text continues, we do realize that Harry isn't his biological son, which gives reason for his particular poor treatment of him. But nonetheless, in the text entirety, we do see this recurring theme of the violence or the failure of the father figure as he presents as a challenge for the boys. And in particular, we see this tension between playful innocence and youth of the child as corrupted by being exposed to such violent in the father figure. So what I'll now do is move into some evidence and some examples of this theme playing out within the text and we'll go through and we'll analyze those quotes. So the first quote I have here is from Harry and of course I mentioned that Harry is the one who was exposed to the roughest treatment of his father. This notion also bleeds into the theme of the plight of defining one sense of self or identity because fishing is so central to the family's, I guess, identity and because Steve is a fisherman himself. We know throughout the text that Harry struggles to reconcile that because he's so fearful of the ocean. And of course, that serves as a bit of foreshadowing throughout the text as his ultimate death is because he does drown within the water. So because his identity is so severed from that of his father and from the other two brothers, Harry has a particular reluctance or resistance towards his father figure. And that's really showcased in this quote. So what Parrot does throughout the novel is she uses a technique known as third person limited narration, where the third person or omniscient narrator guess, uh, dips into particular characters in the text. And in this case, she's focalizing the thoughts of Harry as he states, is da -da -da dad coming? Okay, so the stuttering in his speech here, his uncertain and fearful tone, all speak to the violence of the father figure and how he's inflicted this sense of insecurity and fear within his sons. Okay, so taking into account those techniques, you've got the repetition of the D sound, the dental sound, to show his stuttering as the father arrives. The broken, I guess, lexicon here representing his fear as well. And the questioning and the fearful tone of his dad's arrival all speak to the violence and the failure of the parental figure as a central concern in the text. So putting that into a paragraph, this is what you could state. So if you had another bit of evidence early in your paragraph, you could segue into this piece of evidence saying, further, the fractured relationship between the boys and their father complicates his search for identity, Harry's search for identity, thereby limiting a will to survive. It does kind of defeat his sense of resilience and his will to navigate this world, which is so heavily imbued with adversity because of what these boys have faced. This is seen in the tone and syntax of the quote, is it a dad coming, which reflects lack of stability and fractured identity within the familial setting. 
Furthermore, and then you could continue on with another quote there. So our core idea is the failure and the violence of the parental figure, but you can see how the broad nature of this theme that I've introduced could be linked to a plethora of other ideas in the text, be it a fractured sense of identity or the notion of fear throughout the text or the inability to define one sense of self. All of these core ideas can be splintered off from the central focus of the failure of the parental figure. As a little side note, I think it's really important for you guys, no matter what module you're studying, when you're preparing your body paragraphs, to come up with broader thematic values, because the broader they are, that enables you to, I guess, use the question in the exam to inspire and shape the way that you frame your key ideas in your essay. So if you start with something broad like failure of parental figures or the complexity of family relationships, if the question gives you another key theme, be it the emotions of human experience or the anomalies of human experience or challenges of human experience, you've got scope to adjust the central focus of that paragraph to link to the key words in the question. We've got quite a few videos on thesis statements and how to answer a question, so I'd recommend you guys watch those. Uh, but for now, I guess it's a little segue point. When you're drafting your paragraphs, make them broad to give you that ability to link to different question types. Okay, let's look at another piece of evidence now. This is a very visceral description of the father actually physically abusing the boys. So let's have a look at how it reads. Thick liquid ran down his eye. He knew it must have been blood. So the references to the thick liquid and the blood, they're the kind of heated visceral moments in the text. One could argue that physical or sensory imagery is also a key here, using both the senses of sight and also of feel or touch to encourage the reader to empathise with the physical pain of what the boys are enduring. So those key techniques enable us to, I guess, vicariously experience the challenges with which the boys are faced. In this case, a challenge that is sparked by the father's very violent behaviour. So that's a bit of analysis on that quote there. I guess another point that is raised in the human experience rubric is the notion of collective human experiences. And Parrot throughout the text does really invite her reader to, I guess, buy into or vicariously experience the challenges with which the boys are faced. And visceral descriptions like this enhance our ability to connect with the characters and engage in these moments of human experience. So that's something to keep in mind, that the descriptions of the text and the characterizations of the boys enable the reader to share in on collective human experiences as we try to understand what these boys are encountering throughout the novel. Okay, but putting that into, I guess, a paragraph, we can have a look at this analysis here. So Stephen Curran's violent treatment of his children represents a prevailing source of adversity for the boys. So again, using a central point such as the violence of parental figures to link to broader ideas throughout the text. Such is revealed through the focalisation of Harry's perspective, as Parrot writes, thick liquid ran down his eye, he knew it must have been blood. The visceral description confronts the reader with violence that threatens one's will to survive, propelling the need for human growth. So it's because of this adversity that the boys are forced to try and grow and overcome these adversities, predominantly posed by the violence of the parental figure. Okay guys, so summing up on that video, I hope I've introduced to you a central idea, that being the violence or the failure of parental figures within the text, particularly through Steve, the father figure. I hope that you are now equipped with some evidence and some analysis that you could take with you if you were to draft a paragraph based on this idea. And I hope you also take away the key notion that when you're drafting these paragraphs, keep them broad and have your mind open and ready to engage with the specificities of questions that you may get in your common module exam so that you can use Use the specificities of those questions to frame the way you explain the evidence and your points regarding past the shallows. Okay guys, if you do like this content, like and subscribe to our channel. We've got so many more videos coming your way. Check out our website, ignitehsc.com.au if you'd like more resources to facilitate your studies in English. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like the content, subscribe to our channel and we'll have more videos coming your way. That's right guys, thanks for watching and please make sure you check out our online resource database. We've had a team of state rank achievers and heads of English put these together for you, covering everything from essay structures and examples all the way through to craft of writing and comprehension skills. So check them out at ignitehse.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.